hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to add a button in odoo 15 so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo 15 community edition where we are continuing our odoo 15 development tutorials so what we will be doing in this video is that we will be showing you how to add a button in odoo so first of all if i go to the sales and if I open any of the quotations, so here you can see you have the buttons. So these are the buttons like on clicking, it will perform some operations. So create invoice is a button that creates an invoice. Send by email is an another button where user can click that will trigger sending of an email. And on clicking the cancel, you can see the record will be moved to the cancel state so let's see how we can add such a button inside our hospital module so what we will be doing is that i'll go to the hospital module and here we have appointments and let's see how we can add such a button inside our module so mainly button is of two types like there can be two types of button like button with type object and button with type action so if i go to the pycharm and let me search inside the odoo source code so this is my odoo source code and if i search for find in path and if i search for button you will see two types of button inside odoo so if you check let me search for type equal to object so here you can see type equal to object so this is a button with type object so a button with type object will execute the python code so if i open this button or instead of defining existing button what i'll do i'll simply add two buttons inside appointments form and i will show you the difference so here you can see the model is hospital.appointment and what i'm going to do is that i'll be defining Two buttons inside this form so I'll go to the pie charm and here we have our custom add-ons path and here we have OM hospital module so I'll go to the views folder and appointment view.xml so inside the form so here you can see this is the appointment form so after appointment time so after this I'll be adding two buttons so you can add buttons as follow you have to open the ankle bracket then button then put a name for the button action test so i'll put like this then you have to put a string this button then i'll put type equal to object type equal to object and i'll close so simply i have defined a button and i have named it as action test and string string will be the label shown in the ui test button and i have defined its type as object so a button with type object will do is that on clicking that button it will search for a function with the given name inside the corresponding model so here our model is hospital.appointment so upon clicking this button it will search for a function inside this model so a function will be defined in the python level so i'll close this and what i'll do inside appointment.py so here we have the hospital.appointment model so here i have to define a function div and what name you have to give for the function action test so i just defined a function and what i'll do i'll simply print nothing i'm going to do I'll click, I'll put here button click success. Button click, I'll put like this button click. So, what I have done is I have just defined a dummy function with the name action test. So, here I have given action test because here you can see name is action test and type is object. So, a button with type object will search for a function in the given name inside. The corresponding module so let's restart the service and let's upgrade the module and see what happens so i'll go to the apps menu and i'll click on upgrade button 
so you can see the module has been upgraded successfully and if i come to the appointments and if i open apple you can see test button so i'll go to the pie charm and i'll delete the log section so here you can see currently the log is empty so upon clicking the button we have to see this over the log section so the print will be coming over here so let me go to the ui and i'll click on test button and if i come to the pie charm you can see button clicked and i'll click multiple times i'll click a one two three four five six seven times and if you check the log you'll see a lot of button clicked messages over here in your log you can see button clicked after some time again clicked two three four five six you will see as many number of clicks and print over here so this is how you can define a button button name action test string test button type equal to object then you may think why our button is coming without blue color so if i duplicate this tab and if you go to the sales and if i open the record you will see some buttons will be coming in blue color and why our button is coming in a white color so if you need to get a button in a highlighted mode you can give a class along with the button definition so right now our button is in white background just assume we have to get in a attractive way like a get a user attention then you can put class oe highlight you can put like this class oe highlight so this is a defined class which will bring the blue background for the buttons so i have just added here class oe highlight and let me upgrade the module so i'll go to the apps menu and i'll upgrade the om hospital module so you can see the module has been upgraded now if i go to the appointments and if i open you can see test button so test button is calling the python function and it prints button clicked so this is one type of button and we have an another type of button that calls action so simply i'll duplicate this action patients so i'll just give the name as action patients or i'll leave it empty now so what we are going to do is that we are defining a button of type action button of type action and i'll keep oe highlight for this button also test action button I'll name it as action button and for the first button i'll name it as object button so it will be easy for you to identify one is with type object and second one is with type action so type action will not search for a python function what it will do is that it will search for an window action so in previous video we have successfully added window action for the menu so if you go to the patient view.xml so this is the patient view.xml here we have a window action so you can see this is a window action that we have created before that is getting called from the patient menu so right now what i'll do i'll simply copy this i'll explain you and let me get a sample type action find in path and if you search for type action you can see the sample over here the syntax so the syntax is percentage then have to put the action name so this is the action name action hospital patient so i'll put it here and you have to get its external id so if you go to the ui and if you go to the settings technical and if you scroll down you have window actions so inside window actions if you search for patients patients you can see this is the record coming from our module and if you search for its external id so you can click on view metadata you can see om hospital dot that is module name dot action hospital patient so we already have action hospital patient we have to add the module name module name dot 
action hospital patient that is the external id of the record so i'll copy this and you can put it over here so the syntax is percentage so first of all you have to put percentage then open a circular bracket put external id close the bracket and d then type action so type action will trigger this action so let's upgrade the module and see what happens so i'll simply restart the service and i'll go to the ui and i'll upgrade the oem hospital module so here we have the module and i'll click on upgrade so the module has been upgraded now if i go to the appointments here we have apple and you can see right now we have two buttons one is action button and another one is object button now what i'll do i'll simply click on action button so currently we are in appointments form and if i click on action button you can see we have redirected to patients in the url you can see hospital dot patients like same as what we get once we click on the patient menu so once we click on patient menu we are getting this similarly on clicking action button you can see you are getting the same screen create your first patient create your first patient male gender filters male gender filters and if you remove this you can see the patient so what i'll do is that let me create some male patients who do test and i'll set the gender as male date of birth let me say it january 2022 so we have one patient here now if i come back here and if i click on action button you can see we are redirected to the corresponding action the action that we have specified over here then on object button it will execute the python function so i hope you understood the difference between button of type action and button of type object button of type object will execute a function with the given name of button inside this module whereas button of type action will trigger that corresponding action so that's it for the day if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to share with us as a comment right under the video or over the email and if you like the video please do click the like button and subscribe the channel so that you won't miss any videos from odoo so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you